Hello everyone. I almost feel weird doing a haul today. It's been so long. I've been doing some more shop with me's lately and sharing with you guys what's going on in store more so than actually hauling things, but I have accumulated quite a few things. So I thought I better share them with you. I have some DIYs coming on the channel. I know that this is kind of like that lol. You've got Christmas, well, fall, Halloween kind of Christmas. And then the, um, Valentine's like I did a couple DIYs but they're really neutral and then spring kind of comes and Easter things so I have been inspired to do some cute stuff so for Easter I will have some DIYs up on the channel I know a few of you have been asking me are there any DIYs coming I promise you there are I wanted to share with you the haul first and that way if you need the items then um, we can at least craft together later so a few awesome finds with pricing for us, especially in our area, I thought was fantastic and I thought I would share them with you before we dug into them and I put them away in the pantry. So there are still some because I would just was recently and this is, I like to organize my hauls separated by the stores that I visit so that I know what I'm talking about, but these are still available in store. They're the Holiday Rice Krispies. They are, um, as you can see here, they have the red and the green inside but the kids don't mind right there's eight bars in a box I love to make Rice Krispies at home I'm a huge Rice Krispie lover and I actually don't really like these but the kids don't mind them as a little snack here and there so on Friday I send them in their little lunch packs and that will be their treat uh, but if you buy the big box at Costco maybe somebody can let me know but I think this actually works out to be a better value I bought white duct tape because we might need it for the DIY but masking tape will work as well and this one here is 22 yards long and this one is seven meters long so this one is white white this masking tape is like a little bit more discolored uh, pulling more on a beige under yellow tone than um, a white so it depends on what look we're gonna go for with the DIY but how are you guys all doing? Have you been into Dollar Tree? Is this, have you had a chance to go out? Have you been more at home? Um, my visits are not as frequent, of course. So as you can see, I kind of will go out and I will do all my shopping pretty much within that one day. And then I'll share with you guys. So if I went to Dollar Tree and Marshalls or, or something like that or Walmart, I will post on the channel and you guys can see kind of what's going on. But I don't go into Dollar Tree as often as I used to and um, for that my hauls are a little bit less too and I don't want to just like oh here's a haul of like two items well who am I kidding I never go to Dollar Tree and get two items but here's my haul of five items I usually like to give you guys a nice substantial haul and that way it's not just like okay this is you know a foam a foam thing here but I also like to share with you exciting finds I I don't know um, if you were to see like my everyday purchases such as I'll explain this one here wizard liquid dish, dish soap this is a really nice dish soap if you're gonna try any of them at Dollar Tree I highly recommend this one that's wizard because the soap is a lot more um, the consistency is a lot thicker as you can probably can see it moving around if you pick up other ones I have tried another one we'll never do it again I can't remember the actual brand but it was I think like um it was like a fancy bottle with a pretty flower or something on it and to be honest it was the worst purchase I think I have ever had from Dollar Tree I'm usually pretty you know particular I try to find brand names and things that are not really Dollar Tree specific sometimes like this is l'oreal and it's the curl elastic mousse and then i'll find like a swiffer duster so i do look for brand elf i do look for brand names but sometimes i will try something that's not brand named because why not and i was definitely disappointed with that dish detergent this one is way 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 better liquid dish soap if you're going to try it this one actually suds up and i know that suds don't mean clean but psychologically when i am doing dishes i'm a dawn dish user so i need to have like some sort of sudsing happening if i don't have any sudsing and it just feels like i'm washing my dishes with water then I, it doesn't make me feel good so i don't know if anyone else is like that but um yeah if you want to try something out highly recommend this blue one is the only one i've tried i know they have green 
and a couple other colors. So money that we do spend and sometimes we can make regrets or purchases that are not well spent money. I am going to turn the lights on because I don't know what happened to my lighting. How crazy was that? I honestly saw my screen going darker and darker. You would think that there was an eclipse or something just hovering over me. I'm telling you, it is completely blue skies and sunny here. The sun was shining. Oh, look at this. What is going on? How creepy is that? Okay, anyways, back to the haul. So dish detergent, I know I went on about that. I bought some of these little dry floral foams. These are already pre-cut. I thought that there were some that were a larger rectangular box where they were not pre-cut. If somebody wants to let me know down below, I, it's not something I normally buy and it's not something I normally really look at. So I was looking and looking for just one big block and couldn't find it. I use them for when we make cake pops. I like to have one big square one big rectangle and then I also thought it would be great if I could cut some pieces out I mean I can manipulate this one but it would have just been nice to have one big uh, rectangle these are the wall vases uh, and you can put some really cute succulents or actually put some real greenery in here and grow something or put it outside um, on your patio or somewhere that is not going to probably be exposed to rain and stuff because then it might rust but still super cute or you can do something fun in the house you can also instead of just hanging this on a wall just like this you can attach this to a nice piece of wood like imagine I know that there's like a piece of wood here but like imagine having that on a nice um, piece of natural wood and then having it on display somewhere or you can have this the wood and like a saying on here that's something relative to your home like home sweet home or stay home or whatever it is and um, kind of really you can even off center it like you can put this a little bit lower and the wording a little higher anyways just an idea if you're into DIYs I know sometimes I see things and I think of them and it's just a matter of actually getting to crafting but I'm happy to share with you guys if you have any questions like what would you do with this or what would you do with that. I'm happy to sometimes give suggestions. I know some of you have done that before and I've kind of given you a little direction. But I mean then you can take it with you and go oh yeah I can do something completely along those lines or completely off those off in your own direction. So these were the other snacks that I thought were fantastic. Mum Mum snacks remind me of when my kids were little. They used to have Mum Mums and they were like a long cracker, they're rice crackers, and they used to just like almost gnaw on them until they dissolved so it was less of a choking hazard. But these are I think kids snacks they're called mum mum snacks actually sorry i have this backwards white cheddar rice crackers and they're peanut free and there's 24 crackers in here but i'm assuming there's 12 packs individual individual packs with two crackers per pack and they're just like these little oval type rice crackers they have white cheddar they have apple cinnamon and strawberry banana so there were those and I just bought them for my daughters my son loves rice crackers but the really thin little wafer ones and then my daughter she likes snacks like that sometimes too so with a little bit of cheese I think that would be nice I found some amazing craft items at this Dollar Tree I could almost like I really had to hold back from buying a ton of stuff because I have so many things to craft with that I really need to focus on using what I have and I haven't had any chance. Like I have not had a chance to sit down and craft. First there were times I was not motivated to craft, then it's just been chaos crazy and um, and so I really stopped myself from buying things. I'm like you have to use what you have right now. Okay so L'Oreal Curve Curl Elastic Mousse, have you guys found to be um, crafting more or have you been crafting less I'm curious to know what everyone is doing out there I saw these at the checkout they're tic tacs and they're actually coca-cola tic tacs you can see that even have like little coca-cola I like getting these for the kids sometimes they ask me for gum or tic tac like little candy so I'll give them something like this craft eggs this is for my DIY so I was really excited 
I missed out on these last year and so I said if I can find them this year this was something I wanted to do last year so it would be ready for this Easter so I could just put it out right um, sometimes it's nice to have things done and then just be able to pull them out for deck for decoration so these are the craft eggs these are the large eight well no there are larger ones these are the medium size these are an eight pack and then these here are a 12 pack and they're a little bit smaller and I'm still going to look to see if they have even smaller eggs has anyone seen even smaller uh, foam eggs like probably about one maybe one inch these are these are probably one and a half inches so if you see them, let me know if they exist or if I'm on the hunt for something that doesn't exist. Also bought the little pot, the little clay pot. So I'm going to be doing a DIY, you probably can guess what it is. So here are some of the items that I'm going to do. I was inspired by something I had seen at Marshalls or HomeSense and, and I'm like, I can do that for a fraction of the price. I think they were charging $19.99 for the item I saw. and. Um, I'll probably spend, you know, $72, like we always hear. You, as a crafter, buy $92 worth of supplies to make the item you could have bought for $20, right? But that's the way our minds work, I think, sometimes. Here are some of the really, really long kitchen skewers. I kind of keep passing up on these. I share them in my shop with me all the time, and I'm like, oh, look at these. These are fantastic. And I finally bought them because I know how I'm going to use them. There's a few ideas for those. And then... I, pa I couldn't pass up this little tea. This little teapot is so freaking cute. I don't know if you saw my haul about a month ago. I shared with you all the little tiny, oh my gosh, they had the cutest like little um, Ferris wheel and a little donut shop and a little, oh, I can't even remember. I put them in my trinket display in my craft room. And I'm like, oh, I need to have the little teapot. Now it doesn't really go with the fantasy land. Uh, candy land thing theme but the pink and the little oh, she just it's just so darn cute they really did a good job they have some little apples uh, there's a little yellow house I forget what it is have you guys bought any of the fairy items and if you do do you make fairy gardens or do you just collect them for like little staging you can even put them on a side hutch or something as a little staging setup right I put them in display I have if you've seen my craft tour of my craft room I have a three-piece like glass pane type hutch and in it there's there there are sections so like i'll have all my little trinkets and accessories and um i'd say like ephemera and things like that for crafting my middle is my nail polishes are on display my markers like my copics all the colors and they're like really pretty and then on the other end is actually looks like a little mini Dollar Tree setup. So, I mean, you would never really know if you just look at it. It's They're really nice things. Like I have, you know, the mermaid tail, things that some of you guys have sent me in the mail. By the way, I want to say, I know I'm going off on a rant here, but it's been a long time since I've chatted with you guys. Um, I have, and I will film this separately, I have, happy mail like from christmas time i'm the worst i know i didn't go to my mailbox for a long time so i want to apologize in advance a few of you i have had my mail sitting in my craft room and i didn't want to open it until i shared it with you guys so anyways i will separate that into a different happy mail video but um where was i going oh so then on my display on my cabinet that's where this was sitting so that's why i brought it down i have all the little trinkets from dollar tree and it's that's why when I buy little things like this, sometimes I'll swap them out and things will go to donation. I'll be like, oh, I think I'm, that doesn't really go with my decor anymore or I've moved on. So there's a couple of things either will go into my daughter's room or um, I will donate it to a local charity or like a little local place here. Um, I purchased the e.l.f. concealer and I purchased this for my daughter. It is ivory. They do have different tones. They had beige and they had some other colors but she's right into playing with makeup, so e.l.f. is a pretty good brand for her to play with, and I don't feel so bad that she's like, you know, just putting something that I don't know the brand of on her face. Silver wire LED lights. There are these ones here, which I will be using in my DIY, but um, they have the cutest, I'll see if I have some footage, it's a wire LED light and it has like little green leaves on it. So freaking cute. It just looks very 
springy. I didn't buy those ones because it wouldn't really go with what I was doing. But anyways, this is a great find. Wood craft cube beads. You can't go wrong having these. And of course, I just shared with you the Swiffer duster. This only comes with one duster, and like one fluff and one of the connecting, you know, the connector pieces, a little yellow handle thing. I love these for dusting furniture, like high furniture. It really does collect the dust. Sometimes I would find I was using like a damp cloth and, but this is like just a quick cleanup. So if you want just a quick dust or a countertop that's got a bit of dust or your electronics, DVD player, or one of those things, it seems to attract the dust and like lock it up. This is the stuff that I had a really hard time not buying all of the things. So they have these wood hanging decor, right? But look how thick these are. Normally you get a cutout that's about this thickness and you've got like layers upon layers. There's two, four, six, eight. It's like 10 of these all piled up on one another. Amazing quality, amazing price. You can't go wrong for DIYs. I have some really cute ideas to do with this. The little bunny, of course, just a plain wood bunny. You can stain it. I've shared with you guys, I've done some mod podging. I've shared some staining options with the wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. Recently for Valentine's, I did the cutest calendar mod podge transfer over onto the heart that was like a paneled look i love it it's still on display in my craft room it's really pretty and i think they're timeless pieces that you can do a lot with i've even shared with you how to iron on napkins so that you don't have any bubbles the mod podge is not wet so you're not fighting with anything and you don't have a big sticky mess i'll link some of those videos down below most of them are easter related actually from last year so then maybe that will give you some ideas for this year i bought one of these because they were going fast i was starting to see that they weren't being replenished so i thought you know what i better grab another one the thing i love about it is it has these little grooves here so this is the wood crate it doesn't tell you the size but it has these little grooves here along the side and if you flip it upside down you can actually make it into you know when you have like those little stacked books on the side super cute and you can put like some wood tassel beads here i keep looking out here because lately there's been some crazy wildlife that's been running around here we had we have like a koi wolf i think he's a cross of a coyote and a wolf together he's really large but deer have been running back and forth and every time i see an animal i'm like oh my god what is going to be out there uh i went out to film some of oh my goodness it was gorgeous i don't know if you guys are into watching nature videos it's kind of like asmr but maybe not i took you for a walk in the yard and i shared with you the hor i guess it's called hoar frost there there were i don't think i've ever seen it up that close in my life like i've seen different type of frost but not that one if i ever recall and it basically turned into it was pretty freaking amazing picture these little leaves like this as little snowflake frost on everything so if it was the metal fencing if it was on a tree branch i'll insert some video clips and it basically looked like this like these little things but of of snow or an ice was pretty freaking amazing so I went out there and as I was walking through the yard I came across these massive freaking prints and they're not human prints you can see that there are tracks coming in and out of the farm field and I was like do I keep going out here it was early morning um, because that's when you have to capture that otherwise once the sun kind of comes it will melt all the frost off the trees really quickly or if the wind comes it just it blows it off so i went out there really really early in the morning i had walked bare quickly in the morning and then i went out to film because i thought i have to capture this for myself because it was just magical and also i wanted to share it with you guys some of you see snow some of you don't so i think you appreciate it either way and um i was out there walking and i came close and i have seen the koi wolf from here probably 20 meters away is walked through the yard different than a coyote i've seen coyotes they're a bit smaller um not as you know husky looking or hefty looking i should say this guy is like a powerhouse 
and he has the same root. So I come across his path. I think it's his path. I'm convinced it's not. It's not a deer because I know when the deer with hooves are, are out there. I think they're called hooves, right? <laughs> I'm making things up if, if they're not called that. And I put my foot, I'm a size like, I think eight and a half, nine is my go-to in my shoes. And my boots are a size nine and they're winter boots. So they're super big um, and clunky. And I walk up and you can tell that it was fresh prints and all that. And I put my foot right next to this print. And I'm like, there's no chance for me if I'm out here and this thing comes along and decides, you know, coyotes typically they'll like run away from you or they'll hang around the fox. She's brave. She tells you off. She'll go out there and she'll sit in the cornfield and I should film it next time. Last time we kind of tried to scare her away. She sat in the cornfield. It's not a bark. It's like a cry. She sat there for a while telling us off. And I'm like, you are one brave fox. I don't know if she was upset because something had happened to maybe like another family member of hers. But um, the, a coyote has walked along here a few times and he just minds his business and goes along the fence route. This guy who's walking through my yard I think he thinks he owns this so that I'm afraid if I'm out there in the open field and I can't run fast in the snow because it was like up to my, it was past my ankles because I was even regretting. I remember being out there and saying, oh my gosh, I regret wearing my short boots. Like I was wearing more of my, just past my ankle and I should have worn my really tall ones. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if I'm out here in this kite, I'm going to call it a koi wolf decides to walk and cross my path, we're going to have an encounter and all I have is my camera. <laughs> so no noises, nothing. I should have brought the air horn. Anyways, I don't know where I was going with my story, but it was, I wanted to share with you, um, I should rewind and see what the heck I was talking about. There was a reason why I was talking about this stuff. Um, Oh, I think because something moved out there. So I was like, oh, is it the koi wolf? Anyways, there's that. So, oh, what I was saying, you can put this on the side and make it look like a little book stacked together and put the little farmhouse beads on it or you can wrap some twine or put some ribbon, something cute and um, write on each level. You can write like love lives here or my stack of books or something like that that's cute and you can put that. By the way, these guys here are back. They're the... They have these little plastic things and then these little foam balls. And then um, the lavender is back. Yeah, the lavender. Now they have this um, purple lavender. They have this purple lavender and they have a lavender with like, it's white with purple tips and just very, very pretty. And then there's the grass. It was sitting in his little crate for a while. I thought, oh, I'll film my haul really quick while he's having his little snooze. And then, uh, and then he wouldn't bark, right? During my videos. Because lately he's just been barking so much. I don't know what's going on with him, but he barks at like anything. Do you guys have little barking doggies? I gotta go a little faster because I know I'm talking a lot. Um, there's the Happy Easter sign. It's just a bunny. And you can remove these and repurpose them and take this stuff off. And you can paint this and turn it into a nice big sign. So, or just flip it over and then you can have a multi use if you still like this sign. And I purchased it to do something with it, but I don't know if, I don't know if my idea is going to work out. So, before I jump on that one, I'm, I just thought the sign was really cute as well. I got the egg as well. They have Easter. So there's the bunny and then there's the egg and there's a chick. I'm not a big fan of the chick, but I mean, lots of you guys have done some really cute stuff with it. I got a canvas. that's just a white um, 12 by 16 inches. So it's nice and big. Oh, I'm just noticing now like looking through the egg into the light that there's like a defect i don't know if you can see that you can't because you can only see it through the light there's like this line of really thin wood that like runs through there that's really odd okay so there's the 12 by 16 this these are really great for making your own signs like diy cricket signs and things i bought some food 
uh, wheat thins, 37% less, but these are so tasty, really nice with crackers, uh, in a charcuterie board, we've been doing that quite a bit lately, um, some cheese, some crackers, some blueberries, pistachios, a little bit of cheese and stuff, um, and some meats, of course, if you like them, and um, these go so nice, and they're so, so thin and really fresh, and they're made by the company Christie, which you would buy at Walmart easily, or your local grocery store for a lot more a little headband these ones are a plastic with the little palms and then I got these and they have six headbands and they have like little patterns some of them are patterned I like getting these things and having them as little gifts or to go like I'll attach a ribbon and on the outside of a main gift I like putting these things on it just to give it a little instead of like a bow I'll use this with a bit of ribbon and I just always think they look cute for a part of the gift and then I love these rub-on transfers so beautiful and just nice black neutral colors it's supposed to be really easy just cut out the letter design of your choice from here place the letter design on with the adhesive side down and then just remove the transparent plastic off of it and look it has a boot it has I like the fashion things I like the words so if you're into the, like the making the Chanel or you know those side hutch type designs coco chanel and stuff then this would be really cute to do something high fashion staging for oh some more elf products so i had the concealer and i got her the brush this one is a sculpting face brush so it like dips in a little bit but they have different ones they have the sculpting sculpting brush um eyeshadow brushes a bunch and I always share them with you guys in my videos and you probably are bored of seeing elf brushes but I always get excited when I see them because if you order them online on their website I think they're maybe $3.99 to $4.99 or so for each brush I got the R2 blasts some of you highly recommended it when I was going through the video so there's the pink and purple and then pink and green but at least you get those colors and you guys have said that they work really well they're two roller ball pens and they are 0.7 and uh, they are assorted ink so I'm gonna give them a try I promise with all of the freaking pens that I have bought at the Dollar Tree over the year because this is a long time going I have them all saved in a box to do a review for you guys so it's pretty embarrassing but I have a pen problem like a serious pen problem I bought the big roller got uh, glide now I have never tried them myself but these are a fine and I love fine pens but it doesn't tell you any more than that just fine smooth writing rubber grip fun design these were at Walmart after yeah I noticed them they were two dollars a pack so basically one dollar per pen but take a peek at what's going on here so this is the one thing I noticed see the liquid is like low here and this one is full when you're going through the pens and when you see them just be mindful that or am I like losing my mind and there's something wrong here yeah so be mindful that um, see how it's draining again after I tipped it that they're both filled with ink because you don't want to oh these are 0.7 it tells you right on the, on the pen so that you're not losing ink right you're paying the same price so might as well get as much ink as possible i bought this for my son he likes the heavier masks my daughter likes a little bit lighter masks so these are adult cloth face covering and they're stretch covering inserts you can insert to filter and they are re reusable there you can wash them they have different prints but these are not like that really thin polyester I'm not even sure what material or like a nylon these are actually does it tell you if it's cotton 100% cotton so these are 100% cotton and they have the little pole I don't want to open until he opens it so he feels good that it's his own, own mask he's quite a bit cautious of that he doesn't like his masks puts them right for the washing and everything and he doesn't like mess around with his mask so um, they have the little pull and these are really well done for the price that you're paying right they have a little pull string everything so you can adjust the loops and just one big mask so, anyone have any favorite masks out there we are we are mandated mandated to wear masks in all stores at schools buildings everywhere I guess you do have 
choices. I'm not saying that, but it's just that's what's mandated and I think they can deny you from entering a store if you're not wearing one. And just to be considerate, we all just wear masks. I bought this, so you guys have probably heard me a hundred million times. Every time I go on a shop with me, I am on search for the fountain candle. So my son got one, my husband got one. It's just, a, you light up, it looks like a little firecracker. You light it up and it sparks up this beautiful spark on your birthday cake. And I really, really, my daughter absolutely loved it. The fact that Everett's cake did this, my, my husband's cake, and I'm like, oh my God, I need to have this candle for my daughter. So I checked Walmart and I can't find it there either. So I'm gonna go to a different Walmart, and if not, I'm going on Amazon and ordering one, and I'm probably gonna pay like 10 bucks for this darn candle that I know was at Dollar Tree. Um, Heart Sparkler, so I got her this one, and it's cute too, so maybe, this will hold up as a backup, but I'll see if I can find that fountain pen. Oh, I'm gonna check your dollar store with more because I think somebody let me know as well that maybe your dollar store with more would have it. I bought the Live Clean Baby Wipes. I'm not usually a big babe, like wipe user, but I just thought Live Clean is such an expensive line. Like I would easily pay $4.99 or so at my grocery store. I could have passed them up and just putting them in my car, even if it's just to like wipe up or soothing oatmeal relief baby wipes. I don't know if they have, I, can't, I don't want to open it yet until I actually am going to use them because I think I'm afraid that they're going to dry out for the little amount of times I'm going to actually end up using them anyways. Sharpie metallics. So I asked in the video if these were good pens. I um, always have good luck with Sharpies. I'm a black Sharpie user, no problem. And some of you, it's supposed to be a metallic finish, and some of you were saying that it didn't, it didn't work. So I'll do a little review on these as well. Has anyone tried metallic Sharpies, and do they show up as metallic when you write on a piece of paper? I also bought these, the ink formas. I have a feeling, no, these are not the ones that I really love from Dollar Tree. There's ones that are the ink forma, I see if they're on my pen crate, the, the cart there. If they make an appearance there, I'll pop over and grab it. But it had like flowers and a design on it. And they had a, a pink, a purple, I can't remember, and a blue pen. And they work so beautifully. And they're a regular ink, regular ballpoint pen, not a gel ink. So they worked really nice. I was really happy with them. And um, I haven't been able to find them since. I don't think I have, but I'm gonna have to grab that one over there so that at least I'll know what I'm looking for. I got some Juicy Fruit Bubble Gum for the kiddos. I thought I had two, but maybe. And that's a rare find. It's not something I always find. I didn't realize how big of a haul I actually have. Like I go into Dollar Tree and I'm like, oh, I don't really need anything, just coming in to browse. Anyone else? Anyone else? Do you hear my pain? Do you get it? My cart always ends up full. I'm like, I came in without the intention to buy the whole store, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna drink. These are out at Easter time, so if you wanna put them in an Easter basket, they're just little clips to go on a backpack or on a, or on a, um, a purse. And my daughter loves, like loves these things. Pom-pom clips, how cute is it? It's a little bunny. And then it had white ones and blue ones too. So I got her the little pink one. Facial wipes I got her as well for her Easter. For her Easter, I'm starting to collect things to put in their little baskets. Little facial wipes. These come with, um, these are the skip, the skip the Spa. There's 25 in them. They're not a normal thing that we usually have at Dollar Tree. So this is like a little treat for us. And I think they're from the company Five Below, if I'm not mistaken. I think Five Below carries the same line. Eye candy, I was happy to find eye candy again because they for a while stopped bringing in new things into the store and look how pretty these colors are. I got her, these are the masks she doesn't mind wearing at recess time, they're really nice and thin so they don't get all super soak soaking wet. One size fits most and these have little unicorns. This one has little mermaid unicorns. A little pink one. And these are all, this one's for me. And these all wash up really nice. So they have to have, I think she's have five plus masks per day at school that they change. And also at recess, she says, because it's so cold outside when they're breathing in and out, the masks get drenched. So she's 
gotta take even an extra one out at recess otherwise then her face gets like all wet and uh, the fashion F mask is just for myself so I decorate every year for their birthdays I've talked to you guys about that so I got her these ones we did the big big clear ones with the silver confetti for the, the boys. So I'm gonna do these for her to make a difference. These are hearts from Valentine's Day. And I got lucky that they were just sitting in the regular section. And some of you guys have kind of told me, hey, take a look for the hearts and there they were. So thank you very much for the heads up on that. I wouldn't have even known. They must have sold out from the Valentine's section really, really quickly. And maybe one got left behind and got I don't know what happened, but I got lucky to get that. Oh, the little powder candy. If you guys have seen some of my previous DIYs, I spray painted the carrots and did some really nice things with them in the past. So these are um, a great substitute if you can't find the twine ones. I think they have the twine ones in a six pack, but if you can't find them, at least you get eight little carrots. Dump up the powder and repurpose these into your own little decor. You don't have to always use things the way you know you see them or how they're being sold i got a pack of the wood beads because even the little orange ones i pointed this out on a shop the little orange one with orange ones would be cute even to make little carrots or a little orange themed farmhouse string for easter as well oh i got her a one i already have a one she's turning 11. i can't even believe it um, to decorate so I'll have the foil balloons this is the kitchen area so I will decorate here happy birthday and I'll decorate a bunch of things and I wanted to have her um, I had a 13 for my son so I want to make sure I have her 11 she really liked those balloons out for him so I think it'll be fun for her just for the kitchen another bamboo wooden I like these ones the flat ended ones I don't know why I feel like they scrape nicely on the pan oh um okay what else do I have going here? Color your own ornaments. So I got really lucky and found the carrots. And you guys can paint them, you can stain them, you can do tons of things. And I got the little wood bunnies. How are you guys filling the little holes? Because they're already pre-cut to make a banner. This would be really cute as a garland piece as well across, you know, if you attach it to some, like a nice thick twine or a longer twine, you can do a really nice garland across the front of your fireplace. But um, how are you guys filling the holes? Are you just using some wood filler or, yeah, I'm just curious to know how you guys have filled them. This, I already opened one up, wide board grinder and it's made by Diamond Cosmetics. Some of you had said it was a great nail file. I highly, highly recommend this. If you have, um, if you love doing acrylics or faux nails or gel nails and things like that, they are, this is really rough. So it gets a really nice grind happening and gives you a nice, cut into your nails so really highly recommend this i have one in the car now and this one's going into my nail kit because it's absolutely amazing and i've gone through nail files like lots of times white glue i purchased for my daughter just because she makes slime so i always like to have it this one's a 236 mil pretty good value i found these and i bought two <laughs> Uh, multi-purpose adhesive spray has anyone tried this this is made by beacon value it works on paper wood cardboard and more non-toxic fast holding dries clear have you tried it and do you like it i heard some of you were saying that this little thing here gets stuck or that after you spray it once it gets stuck and look at me again look what i didn't notice i'm telling you guys to pay attention this one is full to the top all the way hard to tell and this one is not so it's like down here so make sure when you look at them that they're full somebody must have either sprayed this or it was open it spilled or maybe it evaporate evaporated i'm not sure but anyways just take a peek and be mindful of how full things are when you're buying them a few more items and then we'll wrap it up i bought also this to go in her little easter basket it's called lip gloss <laughs> but what i meant is it's a little um rainbow and a sloth super cute I got some natural raffia and it's been hard for me to find this so I was really happy that it's come back for the spring. They have this and they have a few other options. I forget what the colors were but this is what I needed so I was really happy to find that. And I got um, one more of these organizers with lids because they um, are amazing for storing things in your craft room. I have a ton of my embossing powders all lined up in here and you can see everything really nice nice through it and I got the mini plastic containers I just don't know what I'm gonna do with them but 
these are they're just I love clear storage so as soon as I see it I usually buy it and then there's lip oil I bought the this watermelon and they have I think mint and something else but the little I got in the little um bird he's so cute so cute so there's a little bird and I got the little Easter kit in the bunny they have eggs bunnies birds oh they have a few things I can't even remember but that's that there for me and I got the little dove hand cream and it's uh, 75 mil it's not very large but this stuff is really really rich and then I got the salon selectives frizz control leave-in smoothing and I actually like this in my hair and this is made by salon selective so I just put a little bit of it in my hair and it kind of keeps it nice and shiny and these are back and I got another little pack last year I painted them all white and then I put them in a basket again I'll link some of my DIYs down below to give you guys some ideas but I think I might keep them this way this year I don't know we'll see I love the little carton it comes in too and then there's a little cocoa butter bar and I only grabbed one more and these smell so nice even just like putting it in your in your um, linen drawer or something like that you can break them up use them on your just for washing your hands whatever it is so okay uh, I'm gonna say bye I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here I'm gonna film <laughs> happy mail and I'm gonna film a Dollarama haul. So until next time everyone, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.